Serving folk costumes like any traditional dress of a nation or culture has been lost to the advent of urbanization, industrialization, and the growing market of international clothing trends. The wide range of regional folk costumes show influence from historical Austrian, Hungarian, German, Italian, and Ottoman Turkish presence. Nonetheless, the costumes are still a pinnacle part of Serbian folk culture, and, fitting with the attempts to preserve this folk culture, it was not uncommon to see rural women in traditional, working costumes all the way up to the end of the middle 20th century. Today, these traditional costumes are only worn by some elderly in rural areas on national holidays and as part of celebrations, tourist attractions, and in museums. From the 19th century on, Serbs have adopted the usual European way of dressing. Some of these original costumes date from the late 19th century and are a truly a Serbian national treasure. It is of utmost importance for each community to foster and preserve their own culture and heritage, as preserving our culture, cultural heritage means preserving our identity as people. Narodna noša je slika veštine likovnog shvatanja i stvaralačkog dometa naroda koji tako izražava svoju težnu za lepotom. Prirodna sredina, kulturno, istorijski uticaj i sobstveni stvaralački dar prisutan je u oblikovanju, u krasavanju i stvaranju narodne nošnje. Ona zbog toga predstavlja najkompleksniji vid narodnog stvaralaštva. Srpska narodna nošnja nastala je kroz spoj staroslovenskog i starobalkanskog kulturnog nasledža i uticaj levanske, orijentalne i evropske kulturne tradicije. Narodnom nošnjom je određivan društveni položaj. Status odnos generacija uzrasta, polni i bračni status, a pre svega pripradnost određenom narodu. Pojedini originalni kostimi datiraju s kraja 19. veka i predstavljaju istinski nacionalno blago. Od velikog je značaja čuvanje i negovanje našeg narodnog blago, naši običaja i stari narodne umotvorina, jer ćemo samo tako sačuvati svoj nacionalni i kulturni identitet. This bride outfit from Šumadija originates from the late 19th century, and it is made of wool and cotton. The vest is made of plush embroidered with gold wire, and the front apron is richly embroidered with floral motifs. The bride is wearing a hat called Smiljajnitz, or garland. It is a cap padded with cloth and linen, ornamented with flowers, coins, gold, or silver pins, and little chains above the forehead with silver coins. The garland was chiefly adorned with everlasting flowers, in Serbian, Smilje, to which it owes its name. Some garlands weigh several kilograms. The bride had to wear it for weeks after the wedding and constantly up to the birth of her first child. Decorated with immortelle and other flowers, mirrors and peacock feathers, it has a magic perfection in their beliefs. Nošnja neveste sa kapom smiljava šumadija potiče s kraja 19. veka. Najraširenije nevestinsko obeležje u centralnoj Srbiji bio je smiljavac koji se javlja u više oblika od jednostavnog venca do složeno oblikovani kruna i kapa, nacinjeni od sveća, nani za novca i drugi ukrasa sa obaveznim paonovim perima, a potropejske uloge, magijska zaštita u verovanjima. Nevesta nosi kapu do rođena prvog deteta. Let's hear it from Natasha Davetić. This next costume is from Nish. Nish is located in the Nish Basin at the mouth of the river Nisaba in South Morava. The population of Nish, Leskovac, and Vranje areas all wore simpler, coarser costumes of domestic fabric without much decoration or embroidery. Costumes from Nish are characterized by knee length skirts, bela vuta, or vistan, made of decorated cotton. Arekla, or Kornia kusulja, blouse are very difficult to find these days. This costume is dated from the early 20th century. Kostimi iz Niša sa početka 20. veka dominira suknja, bela vuta ili vistan, bogato ukrašena, predna kecelja i gorni haljeta krekla i originala nakit iz tog perioda. Bakamaca i njena unuka nađano se ove prelepe niške nošnje. The traditional 
individual attires of Kosovo and Metohija are known for their rich styling and ornamentation. This is a costume from the Koretiste Pinilane Kosovo region south of Serbia. On her head is a hat called a krpa, or rag, which is the headgear of married women. On this costume, the wide sleeve blouse petticoat dominates. Reaching down to the ankles is a skirt of a home woven hemp and cotton material. Then comes the prevojka, a wide woven girdle of black homespun wool with fringes of varying length that are known by the name reste. The stockings are of wool with varied designs. Srpska nošnja iz koretišta okolina Gnjilana sa Kosova. Na ovoj nošnji dominira pregača, kecelja sa resama i pojas kolan, ukrašen bezom aplikacijama i oglavlje zvano krpa.